It's no good. I can't catch a single trace of Hitsuki. Well, thanks anyway for trying, Sierra. Ain't your fault. That rappy brain ran off on her own. She was asking for trouble. I'm sorry. It should have been me instead of her. You did nothing wrong. Without you, she'd be dead. My gratefulness goes beyond words. That's right. All of her vital activity had completely stopped. When Al healed her, I sensed her vitals had been restored to normal. But after that, I lost her signal. I wonder if she's okay. It's Al they're after. Hitsugi's a pawn that won't sacrifice. They'll use her to get to him. They may propose a trade. I'll go anytime, if it means saving Hitsugi. Don't be stupid. You saved Hitsugi, and I'm not giving you over so easily. At any rate, we'll have to wait for Mother Core to make a move. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I wish we could go take Hitsugi back right this minute. Of course, there's no way we're just gonna sit here twiddling our thumbs. Isn't that right, Adam? I've located the Mother Core base. It's an ancient place, said to drive people mad. Yet not a soul is unaware of its presence. That place is... the moon. We've never possessed the technical capabilities to get there. But if Arx is willing to lend a hand... Hitsugi is likely to be there, but it is an enemy stronghold nonetheless. <sighs> I am loath to say it, but it is likely a suicide mission, Enka. I figured as much. You needn't get involved. I'll be going to save her alone. Giving up on my idiot sister is for the greater good. Handing over Al would be ridiculous. So I'll go save her alone. I'll go to their base and take Hitsugi back. Hey, brother. Don't fret, Al. It'll be all right. Nothing will stop me. Something to say, pal? A lecture on how selfish I'm being? I appreciate your bravery, but this is something for me. I can't get you caught up in this. Arx is only helping you on one condition. They're going with you. You're trying to do what Hitsugi did when the school was blown up. You're definitely her brother. Don't start acting all distant now. We're just as concerned about Hitsugi as you are. Huh. That dummy has so many good friends. Making me jealous. If you're coming with me, I expect you to get my back. You feel me? I want to save her too! I'm coming with you! Listen to me, Al. I need you to wait here. I don't think I can protect you while we're storming the enemy base. I'll bring her home. I promise. Don't try to stop me, Adam. I suppose there's nothing I can say, eh? No. Sorry. 
I'd understand if it's easier to just give me the boot. Earth Guide has protected people since ancient times. That in mind, I think you're making the right choice. I'll relay the suspected location of Mother Core's base. And you, Arx folks, look out for Enka, please. The dark side of the moon, huh? Just hang on, Hitsugi. We're coming. dead. You sliced her up and jammed a sword in her guts. Absolutely horrific. No, not necessarily, Oak. Consider that zombies do exist. I might like to see something like that. Does that sword of yours happen to make zombies? But... Mother said there was no other way we could save Hitsugi. She... She told me so herself. I admit I did not expect such a display of strength. It seems I misjudged the extent of your power. I am sorry, Kori Washinomiya. I led you to personally harm Hitsugi Yasaka. For that, I feel immense remorse. It's not your fault, Mother. Examination complete. Her condition is normal and free of irregularities. There's no reason she shouldn't be conscious by now. In that case, the problem lies in her soul. Her soul? Yes. When Ether takes a corporal form, it manifests the impulses of the subject. Kitsugi Yasaka's soul was unstable upon manifestation, and so it broke apart. It is shattered. A weapon can be assembled any number of times, but it requires a soul, and life itself, of course. I see. She's lost the will to live. Poetic. But it seems the only explanation. But, with your power, you can put her back to normal, can't you, Mother? Well... It is certainly possible, Kori Washinomiya. But before we consider that option, those who tricked her must be eliminated. You understand me. I trust. The people from Arx... They're the ones who ruined Hitsugi's soul. I just have to kill them, right? You are correct. If that should happen, Hitsugi Yasaka will indeed be returned to you in due course. Just give me a little more time, Hitsugi. I'll release you from this. No matter what. I'll make sure you don't have to suffer anymore. While I recognize it was my own doing, I do not profess to enjoy manipulating a child. I understand, Mother. But everything we do 
is so that we may capture our target. Please do not trouble yourself over much, Mother. If hands must be dirty, well, then let them be mine. get his hands dirty, huh? <laughs> I wonder. Pretty sure he's just a lecher with an undignified taste for young women. Does it bother you that Ophiel saved you, Oki? <gasps> no one did anything of the sort! I'm more worried about Cory. Loving friends is one thing, but take it too far, and it's downright scary. She freaks me out at least 50%. She seems sweet at first, but meeting her in person was very informative. Better jot this down. Will she really be all right, Mother? I've had a feeling since the beginning that she was like 80% dangerous. I've heard nice girls with a- We need not be concerned. She will not break so easily. She found her power out of her desire to save her friend. She may also have been influenced by Ophiel, but her desires are pure nonetheless. But more importantly, Ock Miller and Full Janice Loswitz. I deeply regret burdening you with a mission of such cruelty. Pray forgive my inadequacy. N not at all, Mother. No need to apologize. We understand that this is 100% our role here with you, Mother. That is to say, I calculated all of this in advance. And that is why we held back in the last assault. We are perfectly prepared for what we must do. Leave everything to us. Only we can complete this mission. We'll make sure everything goes 200% according to your wishes, Mother. When the world tried to reject you and I, Mother came to our rescue. I will never forget that debt. Yes. She's the only one who understood that age has no bearing on ability. She acknowledged us when no one else would. I mastered words, thanks to Mother. I mastered numbers, you know, thanks to Mother. And that's how we gained our power. I've learned so many things I never would have known. So you see, that's why we want to use those gifts to serve you in return, Mother. I would 100% lay down my life without any regret. So let us repay you, Mother. Let us repay you for treating us like people. I've never jotted down anything more important than that. Oak Miller. Full Janice Lauswitz. I am proud to have had the honor to have made your acquaintance.
Where am I? Hitsugi would never say that. All right. Cory stabbed me. But d did I die? That's why it's my turn to save you. I'd never, ever let you die. I heard Al's voice and felt such warmth. What happened after that? Maybe... I don't matter. No. I don't. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I was only there because... I was swept along in the current with no idea what I wanted to or should do. It's all my fault. I've had enough. I don't want to do anything anymore. I'm completely worthless. My life broke. And I lost to Cory. I'm raised in This. I... I only did any of this because people told me to. But not because I wanted to. It's always been like that. Joining the student council, becoming part of Mother Core. Even... Saving Al. I actually wanted someone to save me. Mom and Dad went away. And Inga didn't spare me a glance, so... Everybody was leaving me. And I was afraid. So I tried and tried and tried. I tried so hard. Protect me. No one would even stay with me. I'm so tired of it all. I'm tired of trying to be good. I'm done with all of this. I don't want to feel afraid or in pain anymore. I can't take the suffering, the struggling. I hate that feeling. mistake did I make? Where did I go wrong? Please. Someone tell me. Tell me why. I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Corey.
Those Mother Corp punks sure built a hell of a... something here on the dark side of the moon. time. Not only did they make breathable air, they even got gravity totally under control. They've got amazing tech hidden somewhere. They say that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I wonder which this is. Yeah, guess you're right. So, that means that Mother Core has enough technological might to make something this incredible? Setting aside the materials, Earth Tech hasn't evolved enough to put together a structure like this. That goes for both this place and Ether. Did Mother Core infiltrate Arcs to steal that sort of technology? Anyway, we can save those questions for later. We gotta save Hitsugi first. Them blocking us means they've got something in there that they don't want anyone to see. Let's keep going. are swarming us. Out of my way!
What's with you? Why'd you stop? A time loop? What do you mean? Did something happen? We haven't even seen any enemies. You're saying we already ran into enemies, and we fought them numerous times? What the? Sierra? Hey, what's going on? I can't seem to get through to her. It's no use. This is my playground where time runs round a wheel. There's no way you could communicate with the outside world. If you'd stroll through Full's fairy tale without noticing, you would be 100% carefree. This makes it a 70% complete shame. Still, they found us faster than planned, huh, Full? And it took so much work to prepare this, too. You must be a little sick in the head to have realized that time was looping so quickly. Have you experienced something like this before? You're just as unnerving as Oak said. So, it's you two and your petty tricks. Even though you came out of hiding, something tells me there's no way you're just letting us go free. You're free to try forcing your way out, though you won't succeed. I'm 60% bored watching from the sidelines, so we're going to crush you ourselves. Especially you. It'd be 100% dangerous to leave you alone. You'd definitely cause trouble for Mother. Lapless and Maxwell here really want to thank you for last time, too. And you. You're very dangerous. And extremely creepy to boot. You're sure to get in Mother's way. Yes, I jotted that down some time ago. We won't allow anyone to get in Mother's way. We'll 100% eliminate you. Let us show you. We'll remove all obstacles for Mother. It's our duty. Our role. It's so obvious. I needn't even make a note of it. Oak Millar of Mother Corps! Disciple of the Sun! Full Janice Laswitz of Mother Corps, Disciple of the Moon. 100% is not enough! We'll come at you 200%! My life, my power, is all for Mother! As the pages turn, the tale within the book is ever the same. Over and over again it replays, until we can make Mother smile. Suki, wake up! Pointless. Impossible. Not gonna happen. Her soul's 
99% dead. She can't wiggle a toe. So sad. She's just baggage. The Kori girl could be upset, but she'll relax. This one is unneeded. Her soul is dead. What have you done to Hitsugi? Not a thing. You're the ones who left her alone. And that's why things turned out as they have. Her heart was delicate, fragile, and easily broken. How unfortunate you could not see. And we are 100% done! Utilizing her now that we have managed to lure you here. Because our goal was to lure you here. You're the most powerful fighter in ARCS. Our battle earlier, and this little chat, were completely 100% meant to buy us time. What are you saying? You two! Sierra? Sierra? <laughs> it's as your analysis predicted, Oki. You really are amazing. You're the most powerful fighter in ARCS. Stronger than anyone. And so very naive. A hostage meant ARCS would send a small force to save her. And you were sure to be with them. <laughs> I was 100% correct. Of course I would be. I'm Oak Malar. Remarkable mathematical genius. You must be wondering when we set this trap. I do love a good story. You were ensnared from the very beginning. But you were too focused on your sister. And now, Mother is 80% done using us. Yes, I think it's fine now. With the time loops, it should have been enough. But I wish we could please Mother more. <sighs> I feel 100% the same way, Full. Why would you take things this far? You wouldn't understand, you 30% gallant. Nobody but Full could understand. You and I know, Oki. That's enough. That's all that matters. Mother brought our world to life. That's enough of a reason on its own. Really, it is. Come here! We'll take a portal! I had to wing it, but it looks like we made it out okay. A portal is teleportation magic. 
It's an emergency escape that'll only send you to a registered location, and it only works once. I actually kept it as a last resort for when my idiot sis was throwing a tantrum. But it came in handy when I least expected it to. You wouldn't understand. You <laughs> thirty percent gallons. Nobody but a fool could understand. You and I know, Oki. That's enough. That's all that matters. It's not that I don't understand, it's that those two morons wouldn't let anyone understand. Anyway, let's talk about the Ark ship. We have to find a way... What? The Ark ship disappeared? What the hell's going on? Ship teleported? We're in a sector by the mothership. We've been sent back to someplace near Oracle? <sighs> it's just impossible to get control. We should respond to the mothership's query first. Wait, I can't respond. Access from the other ships is completely blocked? But there's an active limiter in the ship. We can't fight the invaders like this! Emergency code! No! Interruption code! Not working! I'm completely locked out! How do they know so much about our internal systems? I've been here countless times through PSO2, but this is the first time I've come in person. <laughs> what a strange new feeling. They have made it possible for us by coming to the moon. As long as I have the correct coordinates, teleporting will be safe. And the rest is just as Mother thought. <laughs> Between the building materials and the construction, there is so much to fascinate me here. I cannot decide what to take in first. Sir, please keep our objective in mind. Why, that is a given, Ophir. For veterans like ourselves not to put forth our best effort would be doing an injustice to Oak and Fool.
under the impression that Ark's operatives on the ship had a limiter placed on them. Mother has said that there are some on the ship who are able to fight, regardless of limiters. There is that one we know, and this is another. The wielder of Clarissa III, the Bright, one of the cosmogenic arms. You must be a toy. How do you know my name? Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder. If you truly wish to know, you must use your power to compel us to answer. I should call you my grand niece. Ah, I see. You're Xi'an's replica, created by the Photoners, but abandoned in subspace when they couldn't control you. Then you drifted down to Earth and adopted the name Mother. I'm right, aren't I? Indeed. No further explanation is necessary. The Photoners created me, and cast me aside for their own selfish reasons. They taught me what it means to desire revenge. Where are they now? Unfortunately, Photoners don't exist anymore. They died out. There is no one for you to exact revenge upon. I see. In that case, I will simply destroy all that the Photonians have left behind. Everything that they have created. Every single trace of them. To attain the power to achieve that, I need a hybrid of Aether and Photons. I will be taking Al. No! You have Al! Ah! I won't let you stand in Mother's way! You are unexpectedly docile, Hybrid. Why not act your age and give us a cry or resist a little? I have faith. I won't cry, because I have faith that Hisugi will come save me. If I cry, so will she. That's why I'll never, ever cry. You mean Hitsugi Asaka? Your hope is here. She will never wake again. That's not true! She said... Hisugi said... She would always protect me! That wish? will never come true.
Earth guides completely lost contact with Arcs too. We have no idea where the Ark ship is either. How in the hell are we supposed to get back there? Damn it! What's that? Hey, Hitsugi, what's going on? Is this some kind of ether surge or something? What the hell? Hey, Hitsugi! Should have been trapped on Earth. How could you have? Uh -huh. So Oak and Full have fallen, have they? That is yet another surprise. It may throw a wrench into Mother's plans.
Hitsugi, Yasaka. Oh, Hitsugi. Al. I'm so glad to see you. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you finally woke up. Hmm. It is not yet fully integrated into me. No matter. I will be able to use it soon enough. Where is Al? You saw it, Hitsugi Asaka. I absorbed the hybrid into myself. I commend you for awakening. You must be quite shocked to have escaped from the moon and arrived here via PSO2. Still, you are too late. You're saying that Al is in you, Mother? Hmm? What is your point? I see. Your laughter is unpleasant, Hitsugi Asaka. I cannot comprehend your smile. Women feel all kinds of things, like cowardice, frustration, rage. I feel so jumbled up that I have to laugh. You would do better to go back to sleep. We will settle everything when you next awaken. But you know, I finally understand. I understand what I need to do. What? I really was an idiot. Foolish. Reckless. Thoughtless. I was so pathetic that I wanted to break down and cry. But I've learned something. I'll never be like that again. I'll never forget. I hate being afraid and in pain. But what I hate most is being alone. I don't want to lose anyone else. I won't let anyone else be taken from me. They all belong to me. That's right. It's so obvious. The place I belong is right here in my own skin. And that's why I'm done. Lying to myself! That weapon... Her... Appearance... I have no record of any of this. One of the three blades of legend. Ana no Marakuma. No matter what, I'll save everyone, everything! I don't care if it's too ambitious, because this is what I want! It's the reason this blade chose me! Mother, I'm going to defeat you and get Al back! That's my only goal! This is my choice! Kuri, Washinomiya! You didn't even flinch! It's like you are totally new, Hitsuki! Her will and determination have become manifest. 
Matoi, Kitsugi, you're all working so hard. And as overseer, I need to give this all I've got as well. I am Sierra, a high caste and overseer of the Ark ship. I warn you not to underestimate me. You've taken back command of the ship, and now control it? Quite impressive, Bran Luce. Can't have people think of me as a panicked young child, after all. Taking control back is really pushing me to my limit. But there isn't much more I can do. This is all the support I can manage. I wanted to destroy this place. But spending more time here would be ill advised. We must go. Let us withdraw. Ophelia, ready the isolation area. But what about Yitsuki, Mother? Be patient. Another opportunity to reclaim her will come. Just hang on, Yitsuki. I'll come back for you. I promise. Hitsugi, aren't you? You too. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I couldn't protect Al. Thanks. But... Let's save the happy reunion for later. I'm sorry. It was my indecisiveness that got Al taken. But I will get him back. I promise. I'll get everything back, not just Al. My course is set. I've decided my path. No matter how self-centered people might think it is, I won't waver! He's like my little brother. And big sisters look out for their little brothers. Like, follow, subscribe!